Hey Cave Nation, welcome to another episode of Caveman Cooking. Today I'm going to show you a brine pork chop. When you brine a pork chop, it makes it tender and it imparts a lot of flavor. Normally with the brine, it's sugar and salt and water and herbs. Well today I'm going to show you how to make that paleo. So the first thing we're going to do is make our brine. It's going to start with three cups of water. We're going to take some salt, about a quarter cup of salt. I know it seems like a lot, but it's actually just going to marinate and give it some flavor. It's not going to be overly salty. And then a quarter cup of honey. Then we're going to add a couple smashed garlic cloves. Put some rosemary in there. A bay leaf. few peppercorns. And that's it. It's pretty simple. You just want to heat that up until the salt and honey dissolve completely. While we're doing that, we can prep our pork chop. I suggest marinating it overnight, but you can do about four hours to give it a little bit of flavor. The longer you marinate it or brine it, the more flavor you're going to get. So everything's dissolved nicely. It's fragrant. I smell the garlic. I smell the rosemary. We're going to turn that off. We need to let it cool slightly before we put it over our warm pork chop. So you can let it sit. I can just, I always add just a little bit of ice, let it cool down. It's nice and cool, then we're just going to pour it over our pork chop. And that's it. You can let it sit for a little bit so it's not too warm. It's still a little warm. Then once it's done, we're going to seal it up and then put it in the refrigerator. So luckily I did one last night, so we can cook one today. I'll show you exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to pull it out of the fridge. Pork chop, see it's plumped up nicely because it's absorbed some of the water, some of the flavor from our brine. I'm just going to put it on some paper towels and make sure we dry it off nicely. I'm just going to pan sear this like we do anything else. Nice medium high to high heat. So we've been going for a couple minutes. From there, we're going to flip it over. And then we're going to go into the oven to finish the cooking process. 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. We're going to roast our pork chop for about 7 to 8 minutes at 350 degrees. So we're going to pull it out. So I'm just going to do my favorite little coup de gras, restaurant style, finish this sucker up. Have a little grass fed butter and some thyme. This is just going to put it over the top. Let it cool for a bit and then enjoy. 